Welcome Ooh. back to Let's Keep It 100 Podcast. Uh, this is about to be probably one of my favorite episodes, man. Uh, shout out my nigga Marcus the Bottom. <laughs> I, everybody be getting on this nigga. I advise everybody to have somebody on a team who do something that you don't do, that you don't like to do. I'm Ooh. super laid back. I don't really reach out like that. I'm too cool for school. Mark is DJ Khaled. He gonna annoy the shit out of everybody. He gonna DM you a <laughs> million like, times. Look, look, look. Like he gonna no, DM man, you. Get the work done. He, yeah, he get the fucking job done. So shout out to my nigga Mark is the fucking bottom, the biggest player in the world. Fuck PJ Tucker. I'm the biggest player. Yeah, you know I mean <laughs> round, of, round of applause for you, player. <laughs> round of applause for you. Yeah, she let's know, get some claps. You. Let's get some claps in there. But we got a nigga who don't need no introduction. Somebody I've been following on Instagram since like 2017. Uh, you nigga don't need no introduction. We got Fat Boy SSC in this motherfucker, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for having me, man. It's a pleasure to be here. You know what I'm saying? On your podcast, man. I heard it's one of the biggest podcasts in Philly in the world. So, you know what I'm saying? It's inevitable for me to be on here, and I appreciate y'all. I appreciate what you, you uh, so, um, Mark reached out to you. He seen you in Philly. Yeah. What, what you doing in Philly? Uh, I was in Philly. You know, my, uh, my cousin, you know what I'm saying? He stay out here now, so... I just came out here, linked, you know, see the vibes and shit, and then I came out here, fuck with O'Melly. O'Melly, okay. one of my good friends, one of my good brothers, good, humble, you know what I'm saying, honorable guy, you know what I mean? So when I come out here, I tap in with, with real okay. niggas, King Erna, you know what I'm saying? Shout out King Erna. This out of I want King Erna yeah, on a podcast. Yeah, I, need I, I, I need you to make that connection for me. I need you to make that connection. We yeah, want King I love Erna. King Erna. That's my, that's my, you know, big bro, uncle, mentor, okay. life coach, you know what okay. I'm saying? Like, I call him about real shit, real life shit, so... You know, that's why I'm in Philly, you know, and I've been working. I was with uh, Meatball Deja. Yeah, you know shout I mean? out to cool. Meatball. We seen you real close with Meatball. What's, <laughs> yeah, what's yeah, that about? cool. Like, that's, you know what I mean? That's family. She cool as hell, you know what I'm saying? Like, no cap. Like, I love, I love her, man. She's doing her thing right now, going crazy. She's doing her thing forever, not just right now. Right, right, right. Forever. But, yeah, man. I'm in Philly, man. I love Philly, man. What's up with this John, man? Where the Bulls at, man? <laughs> the Bulls. The Bulls. We the biggest players <laughs> in the city, man. Yeah, Ask about us. What's up, Bull? <laughs> Wayne's just going to get past the meatball thing. So you want to hit meatball. Because, <laughs> look, look, look. I'm just sick because I seen him. He didn't hit meatball. Oh, when we say God. hit, I don't know how y'all lingo go, but hit me and had sex with. I seen him with a girl that looked just like meatball. He's lying. Way. Stop lying to me, bro. He fraud, bro. I mean, ain't nothing got... wrong with meatball. She cool, you know what I'm saying? But you yeah. a hit. No. Huh? Fuck, man. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, meatball cool, hell yeah, like yeah, like but look, hell yeah. What um, get into like how your shit first started though, like how do how you start going? I remember you like always with the Burger King or like the yeah. fast food shit. How you yeah. really start going viral? Uh, basically, I was going viral since 2015, 14 on Vine. First, I took a liking on Vine. People was fucking with me on Vine, mm -hmm. and then you know I just wanted to capture people's attention back then. Right. You know what I mean by doing like certain things that would capture their attention. You know, right. outside the box, not thinking mediocre, not thinking, um, you know, uh, simple minded. I was thinking like, what I'm gonna do? Like, hey, do something crazy, do something spontaneous and that's what I did and then it, people took a liking to that shit and then it just kept growing and the, um, and the presence got big and my likeness got big so right. you know back when I was doing I wasn't making no money and shit like that but um, I was I was uh, basically trying to you know trying to uh, put it together where I could make money and that's what right. I did to make the revenue and make it make sense right right so I, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I'm about to say oh, yeah. what made me what made me uh, start following you bro was when you was giving out the stuff to the homeless. Yeah, of course. That shit was like real big. I'm like, yeah. damn, bro in the hood, he touching the hood. Like, yeah, for real. I'm like, damn, you, you just pulling up, yo, take this, you giving them nah, 500. Nah, for real. Like, that was like real commendable because a lot of black men don't do nah, that. Nah, for they, real. They I was doing that on. shit before Drake had his God plan. You feel me? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Straight before up. he was doing that shit on God's plan, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so that shit is the, that shit is just in us. That shit is just in me. You right, know right, right, right. Because I heart. come from I come from nothing. I come from parents having two jobs making ends meet. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We it's always gonna be a give back in my heart, you know what I'm saying? Like right. it's always gonna be some type of, you know, um, how you say that humanitarian thoughts. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? Always gotta have that humanitarian thought. You know what I'm saying? Always gotta have have the humanitarian, you know, um actions, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Through the people because this all we got, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't got what I got, everybody don't got what y'all got. You know right. what I'm saying? Facts, so facts, it's facts. all about just commemorating the, you know, return, not returning the favor because you don't owe nobody nothing but respect. Mm -hmm. But it's always just like, you know, you want to see people win. I mean, I want to see my worst enemy win. Right, right, right. What about like, um, you've been on social media for a long time. What about like the people who are coming your shit like, but why he got recorded? 
Just the negative. Yeah, I mean shit. that's that comes with it. So I can't never dwell on that, like because people yeah. gonna have their own opinions, own they gonna have their own, you know, talks and shit like that. But I just still do that shit, man, just to show people, man, mm -hmm. this is what it's about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm yeah, saying? That's, about, that's what you're doing. Because oh, people they posting, they posting niggas getting, they posting fights all day, niggas getting beat up. Mm -hmm. They posting guns and shit like that. So why I can't post something that's people? Anything you do, people gonna think is negative. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like they yeah. they got their opinion. They entitled to these. Yeah, they had it on bullshit. Jesus, man. They had it on <laughs> right. Jesus. So mm -hmm. anything you do, it ain't gonna be. It ain't gonna be right. Right. Yo, how you feel about now? Because we was just talking before off, off camera, and we was like, you know, how the skits used to be. It used to be like kind of yeah. aggressive and shit. Yeah. How you feel about people like stealing that style now? I mean, I mean, I don't mm -hmm. really do it like that no more. So I right. try to not to. Don't get into it mm -hmm. or indulge in it, but I don't really do it no more. Like I mean, I jump in it here and there because you know I love I love the people who coming up. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of the pioneers for that shit. But right, right, right. I really I'm on some other shit. I'm on some different business, entrepreneurship, music. You know, movies. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm always gonna be a spontaneous, humorous person because that's who I am and that's who I who who I who I'm destined to be. You know right, what I mean? Right, so right. at the end of the day, I don't really do I don't really do the skits and shit like that no more. Right, I really, right, right. Yeah, I really took it back like a. Uh, like step back, you know what I'm saying? Well, not a step back, but like a, you know, like left it alone, Ooh, yeah, doing yeah. something else, going. You elevate. You doing better. You're yeah, yeah. You challenging better. yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You um, I want to go back. I want to go back to still the beginning, cause you you grinded, bro. Like yeah. a lot of motherfuckers. Like this, oh, what I be telling God. people. Yeah, your shit popping yeah, yeah, right now. Going on. <laughs> this what I be telling my. Oh, oh, go sorry. Ahead, go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. Yeah. What's up? Uh, can I call you right back? All right. All right, baby. All right. Good play. All right, baby. I love you, girl. I love you, girl. That's, that's a new one, too. That's a new thing right there. I had to answer that. My fault. My fault. Okay. My okay, fault. you got to let her know. That's some shit I never talked to on the phone. Okay, you know okay. You right, right. You know when you got them things that you ain't never talked to on the phone, you got to answer that. Mm. You Even if your mama talking, oh, hold on, mom. You just got to secure let, let her know she, yeah, it's good over here, baby. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You got to make sure that wasn't... Yeah, big I mean, player, not, big not, player. That's a new one. Yeah. And she heavy too, so. She yeah. Philly? That's Philly? Nah, she ain't from Philly. She, uh -huh. I don't know where she from, but she, that thing behind that. That's your boy, boy. Yeah, that's my Hold up, hold up, hold, hold up. I'm, I'm going to get back into what I want to ask you, but okay. you, you, you think we got, all right, so you've been to a lot of different cities. You've been yeah. traveling. Who got, who got the baddest chicks? Oh, uh, who got the baddest bitches? I would say, who got the baddest? I, I mean, Cali. Cali got yeah. some, Cali got some. Bad bitch with nice toes. Like, <laughs> I'm a feet. I'm a feet nigga. I'm having you on nice feet. Yeah, I'm a feet nigga. So I don't be. If you ain't got nice, toes, I don't care how your face look. I don't give. If you don't got no nice toes, you can't. Mm -hmm. you can't sit with me. Bitch, your toes <laughs> tore up. <laughs> yeah, bitch, you can't sit. Hammer with time. Me. <laughs> you can't sit with me, bitch. Hell no. Like, yeah, Mark don't care. Like you know what I'm saying? I got now. Like on Boomerang when Eddie Murphy sit yeah, in the feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm that yeah, boy. I'm yeah, like that. Yeah, he he, he not that Marcus. I'm Marcus <laughs> off Boomerang. Yeah, he yeah. ain't that Marcus. <laughs> you see that? He shit? the boy on Don't Be a Menace yeah, when like, Dashiki uh, feet was tore the fuck up. I'm flying out. I'm leaving out there. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Yes, I might. But you still gonna fuck? I pound it. I pound it. Because yeah. I pound it because I'm already in. There. I ain't know. Yeah, in Once I wake up and then realize, I'm like, oh, it's time damn, to roll out this. Roll it's out. time His to feet go. tore the fuck up. Yeah, I don't like that. That means your hygiene ain't right or something. Mm -hmm. But look, I want you to get into like when you first, like in the beginning, when you first start going viral, like, and you first start making money off social media and shit. Like, did that shit ever go to your head? Um, nah, never, never, never went to my head. I know I had to switch things up. I know I had to move different. I couldn't be the same. I couldn't be stagnant or keep doing the same shit because you ain't going to grow like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You always got to think outside the box, like I said again, and you always got to maneuver a certain way. We, I, I maneuver the V a certain way so I know like what I'm doing and it progress. I ain't stepping back. That's like me getting $5 million and I'm still standing on the block in the hood. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When I ain't have shit, that don't make no damn sense. That don't make no sense because now you got people looking at you a certain way. Now you got people looking at you as a, you know, a meal ticket, you know what I'm saying? Whatever yeah, the yeah. case may be. So you guys just maneuver different. You can't maneuver the same way. So I ain't never let it go to my head, but I knew I, I couldn't do the same shit or, you know, indulge in the same things or be around the same yeah, shit. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. But like on on your rise, like every like I like I said, I've been following you from the beginning. So like on your rise, I've seen you. You always post your girl. Yeah, I seen you like you make like anytime you with a girl, you build a girl. Yeah, like you uplift that's, your that's woman. Normal. That's easy. 
We you this build, this build this build the bitch workshop. Baby. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. You know, we are gonna take you from scratch, baby, like Grandma Biscuits, and we are gonna make you. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna rise you. You know how Grandma Biscuits when they get in the oven, they rise. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Do you advise that though? Would you like? Cause we seen you go through some little troubles on yeah, social media. Of course. But would you advise that like? Having those public relationships and like now, having your now, shit out now, there. Now, now, I mean, I ain't really going through nothing, but the the, the the shit that's going on right now that is going on, cause I ain't going through nothing. I'm happy, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You feel me? But the shit that went on and shit like that, like you always got to be mindful now, like you know, cause you never know what people' intentions are. We never know what people um, seeking during a relationship, you know. So mm -hmm. you always got to be mindful. Always got to keep keep your thinking cap on because you don't know what they thinking. In the in the beginning, it would be all lovey dovey. Then when it's like ending, when it when it's coming to the coming to the uh, last bridge, it's like it's different. It's like you see an evil side. You see right. you see certain and things. It's like you damn, did you really love me? Yeah, if you, like, if you, you capable of doing this to me now, did yeah, you really love like, me? All, like you know, we men. You know what I'm saying? Like, not it, it don't take away from a woman being a woman, but like it's just like when a man cheat, you know what I'm saying? It's like we men. I right, cool, but when a woman cheat, we want to dog them. It's the same thing, like you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, it just it's just a learning experience. It's just a learning process with me. A learning process. You know, you can't build every bitch. You can't take every bitch from a certain place and put them in the light like that because they don't know how to act. They don't know what to do. Like I've been through shit. Like you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. I came from shit. You know what I mean. I came from bullshit. <clears throat> so I knew what to do when the shit came. You know what I'm saying. I made maneuver different. My mom made my mom may work different, but. I know what I really want. Some people get in this shit don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They just so happy to be famous. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or, but like, or have clout. Be, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They don't even think about certain other things of how you look, how goofy you look, how dumb you look. You know what I'm saying? So at that, at that, at that time, just watch, like to all my fellas out there, if you got some stature or money, whatever, just watch who you building. Just watch, watch the bitch you with. Watch the woman you with. You know, watch the person that's next to you because. It, it could take a turn for the worse, and you would never thought that person to do that. So, do you pay attention to little tiny signs? Yeah, though? Always. Because I always tell people when people show you who they are, believe them. Like in the slightest little sign. Like I sometimes I even test girls. Like I'll bring somebody around a certain room of people, and I'm a, I'm gonna yeah. watch I'm gonna watch her eyes. Oh, that's a yeah, team. That's, that's a little team. Yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. My man outside this shit. This is crazy. He outside here. Yeah, he can go get him. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, like when 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 like, do you pay attention to these signs and like further on, like would you like cut somebody off or would you give them? Yeah, a chance I have to... cut people off in the past. I cut people off. I cut, I cut people off, and I don't care. You know, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Like yeah, I cut you yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. That shit don't make me no bit of difference. I cut you off. You know what I'm saying? Quick as I cut you on. You, you dig? Because right. at the end of the day, I don't trust people. You know what I'm saying? So. So I got a question for you, bro. So what's 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 the biggest thing you've been through since you've been since you've been famous, since you since everything been going good for you and everything? What's the biggest thing you've been through? I mean, the biggest thing I've really been through. You mean good or bad? You can answer both if you want. I mean, yeah, bad. I, I mean, bad. Yeah. Like just the bullshit, like the haters and shit like that. People are always want to have an opinion in your shit, and they only did what you did. They don't know what's going on with your life. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to maneuver this life. This life is real tricky and yeah, yeah. devastating and different. Like they don't know about that, and they always got the input. That's what I don't like. Like they always like, do this. You should do this. Why are you going here? You know, mm -hmm. bitch. You don't know about this life, nigga. You don't know. You're about not this even life. in Shut it. Up. You're not even in it. You're right, not in right, it. Right. You're not in it to know how. I That's move. black people though. We you always got an opinion about some shit. We don't know nothing about. And, and it's like this too. Like with women, right? This with this. How I say I begin <clears> tight. I, I'm moving around. Like I hustle. This is what I do. Like I move around. Mm -hmm. And if you like, I'm moving. I'm trying to always. Mm -hmm. And not trying, I'm doing. I'm always trying to make sure something's going. I'm got something going on. My name is getting Fabo here, Fabo right there. I'm always trying to work. You know, what I'm saying? I'm always gonna work. But then, like, if I be with a girl or something, I got like to another girl. I gotta be like now in the world. Like since everything happened with, you know, what I'm saying, oh girl. Now everybody, oh he fucking her. I can't even like have a girl around me. Like right, right, right. I can't even have a girl just be my friend. Mm -hmm. I can't have a, a a girl just be my friend and I'm not doing nothing with them. Now all of a sudden, every time I'm with a girl, it's like. I got the mat like I'm like I'm a magnet like yo you fucking her you doing something with her I could just be chilling with these girls they could be from the hood they could be mm -hmm. from your home uh, girls uh, um they could be from fucking Beverly Hills mm -hmm. why I can't chill with women and just 
have women friends in my car or just chill. Just be, you ain't always want to try and get some pussy. Yeah. I ain't like, gonna I'm lie. I, I'd rather just hang around women than men. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying because I love estrogen. We have right. testosterone. So right. when estrogen is involved, it makes shit better because estrogen sometimes be on more point than us. Because she'll tell you, don't go over there. Mm -hmm. And you go over there, and there's a bunch of wolves and shit over there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you're like, damn, baby, like, Thank my you. sis, whatever. Like, yeah, damn, you yeah. shade. Like, you told me don't go over there. And look what happened. And look what happened. You know what I'm saying? So it's always good sometimes to have estrogen around, you know what I'm saying? To to, to balance out the testosterone. Because we always hard-headed. I, like I say, I'm tough. I'm not dumb, though. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. So I'm tough. I'm not dumb. But at the end of the day, it's always... It's always a perception where, like, I always, when I deal with women now, it's like, I got to be doing something with them. I got to be fucking them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit just weird because of the situation going on. Like, when people, when I see, when people see them, they be like, yo, uh, keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? Or they be like, um, you okay? You hurt? Like, you got to understand like something about me. Yeah, about the situation. You got to understand something about me. I'm a strong-minded person. I never let no... Nothing, like, stop me from the main objective or the main goal, especially not a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I have children. I have a daughter. I have two sons. I would never let a woman deter my my life or my success or make me or make me feel not wanted in the world. Like, when I have children. Mm -hmm. I, like, I know I'm wanted. Like, by the, by, by, the, by the universe, I know I'm wanted. So, if she don't want, it's cool. I know I'm wanted. Somebody want me. Listen. Yeah, it, ain't, it don't matter. I, and I'm never going to be down or sad or going underneath for rock and cry. You know Listen, just, just for our listeners, I don't want them to be left in the dark, but... Could you just give like just a small briefing on like just oh what like exactly yeah yeah me, me and me and my uh my wife and shit we had gotten to it or whatever it got broadcasted all over so social cool. media and shit like that went viral or whatever me like in a nail salon or whatever the case may be of that nature you know uh, having a physical altercation but it wasn't physical really um if y'all seen the video I but, took your side on that yeah it wasn't <laughs> really physical I just wanted the key basically whatever whatever the case may be mm -hmm. um but yeah that was about it but people made. People made it a different assumption. And then, like, I guess she was in a music video. Well, she was in a music video or whatever. And then people try to say, oh, somebody took your bitch. Nobody ain't taking nothing from you. The only thing, somebody, the only person that takes something from me is the bill, man. Mm -hmm. And that's eight months. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Nobody ain't taking nothing from me. Like, I wasn't dealing with the, I wasn't dealing with the girl for like five, six months at the end of the day. You know what but I'm it saying? Wasn't for public use, it man. wasn't, yeah, it ain't my, and I wasn't in the music video and I didn't even know she was in the music video and it's none of my business because mm -hmm. she wanted to tell, if, I, if she wanted me in her business, she would have told me she in the music video. It's none of my business. That's what she wanted to do. She a grown ass woman. Mm -hmm. I ain't got no control over that. If she want to be in a thousand music videos. She could do that. If she want to suck a thousand dicks. She could do that. <laughs> if she want to um, do what she, that's her. That's, that's what she want to do. I love that you're saying that because I be trying to tell people Stop affiliating me with this woman. Yeah. Because you seen me with her or just because yeah. we got a kid together. Listen, me and this bitch related to the same person. That's yeah. it. <laughs> Stop affiliating yeah. me with her. Like, I don't like what... Because you a, you a guy of a certain Stop stature. Yeah. So people going to see you... Yeah, you know I'm fucking fat boy. I said, see, baby, man. Like, like, come on, bro. Like, that's that's a little pause yeah. and suspect. You want to fuck a bitch not because she got a nice walk, bro. not because she bad, because she fucked fuck fat boy. Come I said, see, that's it's, suspect. Then, then it's tabloids in the... It's tabloids in the fucking um in the media talking about oh yeah somebody took it but that's like I don't know we from the East Coast I right, don't right, know right, right. that shit is not a thing for us yeah. if we do something with somebody baby moms so we keep it on the low cause we, we we tough but we not we never know what the nigga might do exactly you know what I'm saying you don't I'm even want that person like, I don't want Jersey, that attention I'm from Philly right. but it's the same it's the East Coast vibe if I'm doing something with somebody baby mother or whatever I don't want the nigga to I don't know we I'm I'm, I'm, I'm scared I'm like dang, yeah. he might he might smoke me he over might smoke here. me yeah. or something and, that, and that's not being tell you could be the biggest killer biggest toughest but nigga got to drop when the nigga got to drop he'd be like damn I'm fucking the baby mother but I don't know why I stay. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. The car drive. Ah, you don't fuck. know nothing about this nigga. You don't know nothing. You you done ran up in the house. You mm -hmm. you done ran up in the house. Be a pussy up in his, in, in the house. You got cameras. Now you see your car. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know what you look like. You Come on. So like. in the East Coast, we don't do that type of vibration. Yeah. We don't do that. That's a fact. That, that, that's some, that's some corn shit. But that's also the newer generation, yeah, bro. You came like, up in the earlier. You came up in like the same time we came up. I'm 31. You mean so? Yeah, I'm thirty. So yeah, so the but the new generation is all about clout. Even yeah. nigga, if, if I gotta die for this clout, nigga, yeah, I got some it. clout. Niggas right. will go viral and die. Yeah, bro. Niggas will die with some pussy, like for nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the fuck out so like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, at the end of the day, she, we wasn't even together, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when she was in that music video, I didn't know. I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I was out here slinging my shit, going crazy, <laughs> doing what I do. Right, right. I ain't That's give a man. fuck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Being that video, I don't give a fuck about that video. I don't give a fuck about if you was in that video. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give two fucks. I don't. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit don't got nothing to do with me. I'm, do I'm doing what I do. I'm me. You know what I'm saying nobody ain't never gonna stop this train and make me look like no 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 sucker because I'm not that. Facts. So so can you, uh, the other question uh, is the good about being becoming um, you know famous now. Um, I mean the good thing it's about it is a lot of revenue. Mm -hmm. I love taking pictures with my uh, my fans and shit like that. My people. I love getting the love. I love sh reciprocating the love to the people. You know I love always like you know just meeting new people doing different things and just keep growing. You know keep. Keep keep maneuvering the V, keep spreading, you know what I mean? Keep mm -hmm. going and shit, you know? Yep, yep. Who uh love who who shows you like the most love in the industry? I seen you like with a lot of different people, but who really show you love? I mean who showed me the most love, right? Like not I don't And gave you like the best advice who answered boy. Uh Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner? Yeah, Adrian Broner, my brother. You know he be you know he crazy and shit. He bro. crazy. <laughs> bro, he <laughs> is good, crazy. Big, bro. Yeah, that nigga. <laughs> That nigga crazy, but that nigga like he sides my real family. Okay. Mm. I consider him my real, real family. Like blood, blood can even make us closer. Like that's my Man, real that's family. Mm. Like dead eyes, like I ain't even gonna cap. That's my real family. What's like the advice he gives? Like he just give me advice about life, about you know dealing with kids because he got ten of them. So he just always damn, yeah, he got ain't never wear a condom. Yeah, so he always <laughs> give me damn. advice about certain things and just being transparent and just telling me like you know he he been there. Like you know what I'm saying you just gotta be focused. Mm -hmm. I say he don't want to. He don't want me to make the same mistakes he made, and that's a person I'd be like, damn, like you know what I'm saying, like you know what I mean. This is this is dope. Mm -hmm. That's dope. So I see the joint with me. So how did they link up with me when you was in the back of the joint or the front flex joint? Oh yeah, when I I, I had I even when me. you was at the yeah what, what, when he was doing the background. Um, what was that? Oh yeah, because I think I think somebody had told me that I think somebody had like set it up or whatever. And I had Meek, I had Matt Meek in front of the uh, Hot 97, and he was like, yo, Fab, we gonna do that DVD joint, like, you know what I'm saying, like, back in the day. Oh, I'm gonna shit. rap, and you going, you feel me? Meek put that shit together, no cap. Remember, oh, like, shit. it was yesterday, and Meek, he a good nigga, like, he, he a dope nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, but that meant he respected your movement, what you yeah, had Yeah, like, he, he told me, like, yo, Fab, every time I see Meek, it's always love. He always, like, if I hit him in the DM, he'll hit me back, like, that's bro, he cool as hell. I, I fuck with cuz, like, no cap, like, you know what I'm saying? He a good mm -hmm. nigga, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, he motivate the trenches, like, you know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. Like for for us coming up, like you know what I mean? Like for the little niggas now, you know they got like little dirt, little baby and shit like that. Nigga, we had Meek Mill, right? Boy, you feel me? Dirty like, bridge, like dirty bridge. You know what I'm saying? Like we had Meek Mill, no cap. He was our hope. You get what I'm saying? Like no cap. He like made it out. like he made it out. Meek was our hope. Like you know what I'm saying? No cap. Like anybody who knew it was coming up when they was like when I was like 15, 14, 13, 16. Meek was our hope. Like damn, like mm -hmm. we gotta get there. Like he did the deal with um. With, with Ross, Ross. that was like first. yeah with Ti. Then he did the deal with Ross. That was like 2011. Nigga, I was a, I was like a. a everybody sophomore. seen that. Everybody felt like they made it. Yeah, 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 yeah. facts. Bro. You was genuinely like, happy for a nigga like that. Somebody bro. got something. And then and then it, it, it kept the niggas around you. He that kept he kept niggas around him. And then what it is, he self made, bro. He didn't stop. That's the main objective, bro. He could have stopped. He, he could have stopped, bro. He, he kept going, time. bro. Yeah. He kept going, bro. And now, look, bro, he rubbing elbows with billionaires, but that's what that's what you're supposed to do. He just signed a bill for a reform for prisoners and shit like that. That's what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Nigga, this is a nigga from the trenches who ain't have shit like us, bro. No bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's commemorable. You always got to big that shit up, bro. You can't take that shit away from that man no matter what, bro. Mm -hmm. That's the nigga from the trenches just like me, just like us, bro. Mm -hmm. He us, bro, and then like you know what I'm saying, like that's why I be like, damn, he's people still tapping with the hood. And that's, come that's, on, that's bro. She still come to the hood. Come on, bro, cause your product the environment, bro. So that shit, you know, that shit be legendary. But me, he a good nigga, bro. I fuck with him to death. How you um, like you, your shit really evolved. Like that's what I'm saying. Like you really remind me of Boosie. Yeah. <laughs> like I like just with the hustling aspect. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm like. I'm watching your story and shit. I'm like, this nigga here. He here. I'm Hell telling this yeah. nigga, I'm like, bro, we gotta get this nigga time. He collecting. He grinding. Hell he yeah. running, he running this shit right now. He grinding. Yeah. He ripping and running. He collecting bags right now. I'm like, I know this nigga gonna get to us, but that remind me of like a boosie. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not Stop. too big to still come get this. Yeah, nah, yeah. I'm gonna come get that. Where that where where like that mentality that. come from? That hustlers mentality. I mean, mentality? you know, I got my family hustlers. Like, isn't is in the bloodline, man. Mm -hmm. You know, we ain't gonna stop this shit. You know what I'm saying? I always Gotta put my best foot forward. I got three children, so I always gotta make sure I gotta make this shit count. 
I can't be playing. I ain't like, oh, like niggas be like, oh, you Hollywood, do you this, you that. Nah, bro, we got to hustle, you know what I'm saying? And certain aspects, you got to look a certain way, yeah. you know what I mean? But you always got to make sure, you always got to make sure you're doing what you need to do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You always got to make sure you're you doing what you need to do. He's not outside? Damn. Hey, homie, where you at? Y'all think he outside? Yeah, come to the back. Just walk to the back. It's open. Yeah, it's not open. Let me see. Somebody go get him. Somebody go get him. Somebody go get him. I don't know. Hold on, hold on. You see where he is? I, 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 somebody come get him. Yeah, so, you know, it's just that, you know, you got to have a different vibration with that shit. You can't really, you can't really not, you know what I'm saying? You got to know what you want to do. Right. You got to know how you want to hustle. Basically. Yeah, because dog, I, I, I DM'd you. I'm like, bro. Oh, shit. I, that shit ain't going. This shit over, nigga. Yo. <laughs> what you do to your hair? That's it over. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen. Damn, I did, I did you have that. Nigga, that shit was oh, going when we was in 11th grade. His shit was going. Oh, man, I was going to make it there. I had a body in 28. For real? Yeah, bro. That shit was over. The bitches just me out. Damn. Yeah, fuck it. I'm, you got kids? Yeah, I got a daughter. I just yeah. had my daughter, though. My oh, daughter yeah. Man, he had a nice run. They ain't got no fuck. You got one. Nigga, I've been dealing with baby monsters since <laughs> I was 16. How <laughs> I many you got? Three. Me too. Dealing with yeah. baby monsters since 16. Yeah. Nigga, nah, couple, couple, couple side, side kids. We ain't gonna get into that. We ain't gonna get into that. Jerk, yo. Yeah, they taken care of. Straight but up. look, you did, do you ever have like uh, survivor's remorse? Like yeah. you, like you gotta take care of motherfuckers. I mean, sometimes, but nah, not really, not no more. Because I, see, I now I'm seeing you move like a rapper. You got a big entourage. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, you got a big entourage. These my niggas. That's my artist right there, OG Homie and shit. Uh, what's up with y'all? Hell yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, man, I just been like, you know, I mean, I do sometimes, but then again, I don't. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I always want to show love. You know, especially to the wolves and the killers and shit. Yeah, like but that, if you man. show too much love, you're gonna be MC Hammer. Nah, fact. Well, <laughs> no, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you gotta do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do it the right way. You gotta do it how to finagle the bagel. You can't let that shit stress you. you can't. You gotta know when to tell a motherfucker no. I ain't okay. got it right now. I'm doing something. But what if somebody like get an attitude? Like, you know nigga, what? I know you so got them, it, nigga. They, they, that means they wasn't a part of your journey. Right. Mm. It wasn't a part of your journey. They don't they don't understand the magnitude of what you gotta do. They don't mm-hmm. understand the the sobriety of what what what, what what's in place. Yeah, because I be seeing like like we go out a lot, like I see like a lot of people yeah, that got like paper, like we see NFL, like well, I'm cool with some like niggas in the NFL, uh, just people who got a couple dollars and I see them front the bill for everybody. I don't give a fuck who you is, bro. As a man. I got at least give you a deuce, 200, yeah, little 300. Something. Even if I got a bean, bro, I got yeah, pay yeah. my way some type of way. Some type of way. And you know, yeah. most of them, even though I know you're going to say, put that away. Yeah, go ahead, yeah. Even though, but I got to I gotta yeah, offer, I got to pay offer. something, yeah. bro. Yeah. You appreciate shit like that, though, when people do yeah, that? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't do that shit, bro. Oh, so facts. Why your page keep getting hacked? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, they hacking the it's shit like, out of this yeah, nigga. What yeah, the yeah, fuck? Bro, some white boy, man. Some white nigga. Yeah. Man. It was some white nigga from Orlando, man. We're going to catch him. <laughs> how you find out? Yeah, how you find out? Like, I got people who was inside that type of world, and they found out and shit. I'm going to punch that nigga and shit. How the fuck they have your page, though? Bro, and then he kept, he kept posting memes. The memes was funny as shit, though. It was. But I'm I like, damn, I'm like, where bro at? Bro, I was tight when that shit happened, bro. I was in the bed coping. Because, you know, you Instagram, you need it for a tool to, you know, make revenue like a nigga like myself. Like Boosie. That's why I'm Boosie so man. Yeah. No, bro. I needed my shit. I was tight. I was tight, bro. But do that make you like now you gotta like tighten up a little bit to where like I don't want to just rely on this. I, I mean, know you I got a bunch of other shit going I don't, on. Yeah, I got a bunch of shit going on. I don't just rely on Instagram, but I need it as a tool. Yeah. You know what I mean to do what I need to do, but I just don't rely on that. I got other shit going on. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make some paper if I got to sell motherfucking uh, white China to China. If I got to sell mm-hmm. water to a well, I'm gonna make some paper. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make me some paper. For sure. I ain't yeah, I'm a hustler. Like, um, Deja gave me the hats. So a girl had pulled up and she wanted, like, she ain't had no, as she, I don't guess, I think she ain't had no more. I think she did have some. But I was like, yeah, buy this one. Shit, I gave up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you 
so so hard shit. Uh, yeah. I restyled. Did re- you put re- tax re- on it? it? You put a little tax nah, on it. I put charge oh, forty, and I gave Meatball a dub. I took a dub. Oh, wow. How so much is Meatball hats? I mean, her hats was like sixty five, seventy, some shit like that. But she gave it to me for the love. Damn. Let me see she them jewels. She gave it to me for the love. You know what I'm saying? Seventy ball. Like Damn, a, she killing them. I think I, think this, like, I think this is like a oh, sixty yeah, ball. Yeah, I think them right there like a seventy. Like you a, need to go get. You need to go get one. Yeah. She like said how much? Eight thousand in one day. Off a head. Yeah. She viral, bro. Yeah. Damn. She go crazy. So you know what I mean? I rewatched this bitch. Girl pulled up. She said, "Yeah, let me get the hat." I said, "Yeah, 40. Oh, take Niggas it. ain't making that on a block. On a block, I gave a dub. Took my dub. I'm Damn, out. I'm doing the wrong shit. That twenty, that twenty the right fuck? there, give me some water. And they give me. My Bart, go water. order a bundle of hats right now. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we I told them I said, look, I said, me boy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. So I don't want to give up my sauce. Yeah, 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 what I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go. You know what I'm saying? We, take the uh, motherfuckers. Yeah, take moon. I got them too. What's up? If you want to come get them. I got, you? About, I got about 40 of them bitches. Mm. She's, I'm just saying. Oh, oh. She can't, she in Philly. She ain't, yeah. I'm not saying she don't move around, but she yeah. in Philly. Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm everywhere. Yeah. If you need something in Cali, I'm in Cali with them, boom, boom, boom. Mm. Yeah, well, let's go. I'm a, she gonna get, she already gonna be compensated. Cause you gonna pay her from up front. I'm gonna pay, pay up front. How much you want for, she gotta give me the wholesale price. Thanks. But she gonna give me the wholesale price and I'm gonna go, boom. Y'all need them, I'm right here in Cali. Yeah, you confident, you gonna move that shit. Huh? You gonna move that shit, you confident. Yeah, I'm a hustler. That's like buying a that's like buying a, a a pound or some pound of nice good some smoke and then you know what I mean? That's it. I see you in the weed business then. Yeah, how I got my own cannabis brand, it's called Lung Smacker. Lung Smacker. How you get into that? What made you get into um, that? Um I mean me and my partner, me and my partner, uh uh Tiana, me and her started and shit like that. Mm-hmm. We started that shit in June two thousand uh, June 2005. Yeah. You ain't, you ain't, I mean, you ain't, not 05, uh, two, 2015. June, June 5th, June uh, 5th, 2020. You ain't bringing none of it with you here because I know somebody that was with you yesterday and they said you were smoking some bullshit. Who? No, I'm <laughs> oh, 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 fuck with you. <laughs> oh, I mean, nah, hell no. Nah, I, I would have brought some of y'all would have told me. I would have brung some of that shit, though. Dude, y'all promote your brand. Yeah, man. hell yeah, I would have brung some of that shit. I would have brung some. Next time when I come back, because you know this ain't... Last time y'all gonna yeah, see every me. time you come here, yeah, every time I kind of feel you, you're gonna, yeah. you gonna sit down, bullshit, talk, go crazy. Go you know what I mean, whatever you want, man, yeah, we outside, bro. We spending all yeah, you gotta come out with us. You got you gotta like come outside. Oh, nah, bro. You be I'm fucking with outside. like the outside vibes in Philly. Yeah, hell yeah, I fuck with Philly. I fuck with uh, what club I went to. I went to a couple clubs. Room service. I know you probably. Room yeah, I think I think I've been to room service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shout out and I've been I've been I've been in the strip club. What that strip club called? What? Um... What is it now? Sin City? What is it? Sin City now? I think it was Sin City. Yeah, it was like Onyx. And, and then yeah, Onyx, Onyx. Onyx. Vanity yeah, Vanity Grand. Yeah, yeah, any. That was, yeah, that was, was a minute Onyx. ago. That was a minute ago. Though. Yeah. I've been to Onyx, shit, too. You been to Noto before? Noto? Nah. Oh, wow. That's, that's what well, now about. what you got to go to... Man, I ain't giving a well, fuck. Yeah, it. You got to yeah, go to... Sponsor. Man, fuck that. You got to go to Revel. What I said? <laughs> Them bitches got... Fucking they got all... Look, fuck the strippers now and the bottle girls is it. The bottle girls is like strippers, bro. The bottle, yeah, yeah, yeah I be chasing, chasing bro. The bottle what, what girls. What I said, that's in the trenches. Yeah, so that's on fifth. Man, it's a good man. trenches though. Ain't nothing gonna happen. It's like on fifth and Just has well, well, something might happen. Just had somebody waiting outside for you. <laughs> that's what I do. Fuck it. <laughs> but that, listen, I'm risking it. I'm taking a yeah. chance, bro. Yeah, they yeah, got man. the baddest the bitches, bro. Fuck. Yeah, we be in a trap, nigga. Whatever gonna happen, gonna happen. But I, I ain't gonna make it easy for a motherfucker. You feel me? Yeah. That's just how I feel, bro. Nah, I feel you can. But how how do you feel about that shit? Cause you just, I mean, you hustling, you grinding. Like, do you ever like in the back of your head, like, oh, this could go wrong, that could go wrong. Like you nah, meeting course, up with certain, you meeting dealing, up with strangers and shit. Nah, of course, man. Dealing with this type of lifestyle, man. Of course, man. Anything can happen, but you always got to know you got to be positive, man. To just think in your head, you know. If it happened, it happens, man. Maybe it was meant to be. So mm-hmm. I just try to take put my best foot forward. To win, you know what I'm saying? Fuck yeah. all that. If I think about that, that's the thing of negative. We gotta think positive. All positive vibes. All positive vibes, but you still gonna have that thought, like, yo, just watch it, you know what I mean? Yeah. And my cousin, when my cousin pulled up, he was still like, yo, you got what? This West Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you, well, you got you got somebody that's familiar yeah, with the area. Yeah, what was the yeah. Like that, though? That's, you know what I'm that's saying, like, yo, this the Wild Wild West. I'm not, I'm walking. Look, man. look, when when you, um, before you responded, you you look through his page, you probably like, oh, yeah, he. Yeah, I look through his You look through his page. What, 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 you, what you say? Yeah, he a little. He a little weird. I can. Nah, I'm like, nah. I'm like, nah. I'm like, nah. I see, I see you. I see you got your shit structured and shit. I'm like, yeah, I gotta. 
put it together. I see I was talking about real shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, nah, hell no. Yeah. I got to tap in. This is a good podcast. You know what I mean? We got to talk some real shit. We talk to the church. We know we had oh, we had, we had clean eye. We just... We try to tap, we try to tap in with everybody, bro. Yeah, that's just, that's clean. We man. trying that's to clean. be done with getting bottle girls and strippers and just ratchet bitches yeah. all the time. <laughs> I like the ratchet bitches though, man. Yeah, like, me too. I like the everybody. That, do I bro. like the bitches that wear the bonnets and shit? And walk. <laughs> do you like do you like the BBLs? <laughs> I love them. I like. I the, love the BBLs. I, love, I, love, I, love, I like the <laughs> like oh. juicy ones though, not the oh, box yeah. hard booties. All right, like, so like the transferred effect. It's yeah. still your fat. You know what I like? I ain't gonna cap. I like the bitches that wear the bonnets with the big nightgowns and just be cooking. Like you know somebody I mean? auntie? Yeah. Exactly. Nigga, you want a mom and a... <laughs> <laughs> you want yeah, auntie? Yeah, like I want the just add just bouncing. No, I don't want that. Come on, <laughs> fat boy. Like that. <laughs> no, nigga, no, I want nigga. a bitch to be sexy. Nah, they could be sexy, but they throw it on, though. No, I want sexy. And, and, nah, and want look, my before. bitch looks so good. She's so sexy. Fool, nasty, then a motherfucker. <laughs> I hope she'll see this. Bro, oh, she made some, bro, she baked, bro, <laughs> bitch made some barbecue chicken the other day. I thought I was biting into a steak. Shit was so rough. Was she nasty. like, is it good, RB? I said, <laughs> bitch, yeah, it's good. What the yeah. fuck? You know this shit nasty. Yeah. She was fucking it up, though. But yeah, I'd rather just a bad, sexy nigga. We could eat out yeah, every like day. Shit. Yeah. You was been supposed to smoke like this shit. Yeah, yeah. Rob Ben told yeah, y'all, y'all good money. Yeah. Y'all niggas whispering this shit smoke. Right. Man, nah, I like, I like the bitches like that with the bonnets, walking around cooking. Just you know get man? comfortable. As long as her feet ass, pretty. As long as her feet cute. Boom. Yeah, you like them fat ass. I be seeing you with yeah, some bitches. Like, some fat yeah. ass. <laughs> the 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 ass like turkeys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She shit just moving while she in the kitchen with the nightgown. Mm -hmm. Just it got the print. You and like, how many oh. times you smack the ass? I'm smacking the ass about ten times. And then you smack the ass. There's no panties on. <laughs> Look, bit, that, matter of fact, you know what? That's probably why the food ain't get done all the way. Because yeah. yeah, we start yeah. fucking throughout. You know what I mean? Before the food got done, you start going crazy. Yeah, I'm a big player. We ain't, we ain't got no rap. So, so I. Right. I got a question now, bro. So, what's uh, what's been the biggest? No, I was about to ask some tame shit. I'm drunk. Fucking. So, how you get into movies? I know you rap and you do movies. Yeah. Do content. So, what what's, what you prefer now, more acting or? or uh, both. Rapping? I want to do both. You know, but acting, you know, that brings more uh, uh pusher for the cushion. That brings more bacon. You know what I'm saying? The right. music is cool. Everybody doing music. Everybody can't act. Mm. You know what I mean? Like that's why it's a selective few artists that really act that took it serious and really got movie roles. But how did you like really like? Did you take acting classes? Uh, nah, I just worked with this lady named Miss Miss Wendy and shit back in the day. She uh, cast in Notorious. Oh. She cast in New Jersey Drive. You sure. know, she worked with a lot of people from like TV shows and shit like that. So that's who I was working with. Who was your first? You, you did? I got the hookup. So yeah, yeah, with Master P. Master um, P. That was your first how, movie? how did you? Nah, um, that was that was that was my second movie. Cause I did After Party. At the after party with um this other production company, I forgot what they name it, but the the after party movie was on um on Netflix. It was oh. on Netflix and shit. So you did the after party shit. You did. I got to hook up too. I know you did the uh, what's the Jones with the boy gravy? Uh, trust nobody. Trust nobody. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, trust right. nobody. One, two. Trust nobody. Three about to come out. <clears throat> you in that too? Yeah, I'm in that. I got a small role in that shit. Cause they about to do a spinoff of my character. But your fucking face right in the. <laughs> no, no, no. Like this nigga, like you, like the main nigga yeah. in, the, in the second June. Yeah, hell yeah, the main one. I ain't playing with niggas, man. <laughs> Big player. Big player. Yeah. Was you nervous, like when nah, they, when somebody no. come to you and say, like, all right, your your role about to increase heavily, like nah. you about to be the main nigga? No, in this that's shit. my time to shine. That's my time to go, and I and I execute it. If you seen the movie, you gotta watch the movie. You will let me know. You know what I'm saying I, I did what I had to do. I mean, I could have did better for myself. I critique myself. We always going to like critique better, ourselves. But I know I did what I did because people tell me, they're like, yo, you killed that movie. You did what you did. What you like, think like you can do better? Like, I could do better. Like, Every, act, anything, acting wise, like what, what you think? Anything I do, my characteristics, my mannerisms, you know what I'm saying? Slow it down a little mm -hmm. bit, pace myself, mm -hmm. don't rush. Like certain things that I watch when I took from that movie, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right. You know what I mean? And I got um, my poly, my poly experience show about to come out. I just shot like five episodes What's of that. What's Poly experience, uh, poly experiences. Uh, shout out for the nine. love of Fat Boy. Yeah, not basic. No, it's nigga, not. he's doing a it favor of love. But like you know, it's like the poly experience, like five girls. I nickname all of them. Yo, let me come on there, bro. Like, let me pick Good, the bitches. Bro. It's, it's wild, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I'm looking at your entourage. These niggas don't look like they know how to pick no bad bitches. Like, I'm my fault, sir. I ain't throwing no shots at so, nah, nah. y'all. Nah. Look, look like y'all. These niggas only look. These niggas about 19. They ain't old enough to drink. Bro, right here, look like he knew what's going on. He a little older. Yeah. These niggas, 
they they teenagers, man. <laughs> so you gotta let me come on there. Let me pick some bitches yeah, out. Like, let me cast. Let me cast. I mean, I you got hella bitches he like. Don't let him come on so, there. Well, he I like, like fat with, asses. <laughs> what type of bitch do you like? I like slim, thick, fat asses, but it depends on the day. Nigga, I don't eat the same food every day. <laughs> I mean, one day I like color? Chinese food, one what's day soul food. What's the what's uh no no no. I like bro. You never seen me with a dark skinned girl? Not really. All right, well I like I, I like slim thick, but I like like I like like glazed donut. You gotta look like glazed donut. Like you know that color. Oh, I know, I know your mom. Yeah, I like that type I of like, complexion. I like straight red bone. Uh, so I like, I like red too. bone too, though. I like red bone. That's my preference. But a lot of girls get mad at you for that. Why you wanna be with that yeah. damn light, light ass bitch? <laughs> hey, yellow bitch. That yeah, red. Yeah, like <laughs> bitch. That's what I like. Yeah. I ain't see that growing up. I want it now. I, I got like, access I love to it. Feet, bro. It's so much bad. <laughs> bro, I, bro, you gotta understand, bro. What do you be doing to these bitches' feet? <laughs> bro, I be kissing them. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, it's so, bro. It's so, bro. It's so many bad women out here, bro. I'm talking about so many, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. You I be seeing, you I be seeing them, yet? huh? You been in other countries? Yeah, wow. bro. I be seeing these women, bro. I be like, yo, they so bad, like, bro. It's, it's a, like God didn't make no mistakes with some of these women. But look, look, look. When he you didn't like make no mistakes, <laughs> do you, like see my problem is like now I'm, I'm trying like just cuff on one chick right now because bro, I can't do it. No, bro. no, no. I know I what you're saying. Like just for the you winner, bro. For the winner. Yeah, for the winner, bro. <laughs> I, I want to say more, but I spend too much money fucking with all them different bitches, bro. I mean, me too, bro. Yeah, yeah they, it costs. It, yeah. it do cost to be the boss, but bro, I want to save you. a little bit. Bro, it's too, bro, it's too many bad bitches, bro. It's too many. You can do what you do. I don't advise. I, like I seen you in full blown relationships, nigga. Yeah. I followed you for a long time. I don't advise doing that. And then when you do cheat, it's like, don't he got a girlfriend? Bro, look, look. Now this this walk up on you. This something like that walk up on you. What you gonna do? My bitch look better than her. I'm just saying, she walk up on you. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna ask my bitch, can we, you wanna fuck her? He lying. He I'm dead serious. Right nigga, my hey. bitch just asked me, to, do I wanna have a threesome look. for my birthday? Nigga, I'm a big player. God damn, let me see. Yeah. Who that, India? Nah. <laughs> you like India love? Yo, come on, man. I don't wanna do this. Let me put my glasses back <laughs> Tell on. Tell you, boy. She go watch this. Man, 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 fat yeah, boy. I'm trying to trouble. get him in trouble. He about but to get look, me in trouble. That shit walk up on you. Nice. I mean, bro, I, I, on, bro. That, but that that comes, but but listen to me, listen to me, like on some on some real shit. That's what comes with being a, like a real man and having a serious purpose. When you put the purpose first, fuck them bitches. Mm -hmm. It's time to tighten up. When I'm serious about something, I do the same. Thing. Nothing can distract me, bro. Me like bitches know, like damn, you really gonna turn me down? This nigga be like, bro, you ain't fucking with. I'm like, bro, I'm focused right now. Like sometimes, bro, I be doing like these ten mile runs. Last run I did was like a thirteen mile run. Half marathons, but that's my way of locking in all the way too, around the bro. board. Not just the run, bro, just but not, just period. Bro, I just turned shit down like two or three days ago because I was just in the hotel by myself. And sometimes, sometimes you want to be the, alone. Sometimes bro. you don't want like. Sometimes you don't want like you know that like you gotta be like you gotta get not in your energy, but you gotta give like you gotta make sure they okay like straight. Like I want to make sure a woman straight all the time, but mm -hmm. I was just in my own mind, so I was in the hotel by myself, just chilling. Getting, like just chilling, watching TV, just on my phone, busting down moves, doing what I need to do, setting shit up. I ain't really like mm -hmm. care for a woman to be there, like you know what I'm saying, like. But like anybody that, it's something wrong with you if you always gotta have companionship. You always gotta be around someone. I mean, I do. You sometimes. I, like I ain't gonna cap. I do. You but, need the estrogen, but, but come on, bro. You sometimes mean, you need to be like, alone. Like one or two days or whatever. You Look wanna, in the mirror. Talk yeah. to yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with talking to yourself, nah, bro. Facts. You, you 100 percent correct. I did that shit two days ago. Like, I was chilling. I, you know what I mean? I was just like, yo, you know what? Yeah, let the testosterone yeah, build up a little bit. Shit. Nigga, you yeah. shooting your shit too much. <laughs> you ain't got no energy, <laughs> my man. Relax, yeah, man. that's why your energy was off in the movie, down. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got nothing left for me. Jesus, I ain't going to lie. My bitch took everything out of me. That bitch be making sure, nigga, when you go outside, you ain't got nothing for these bitches. Mm -hmm. Whole time, them whole honey packs over there. Bitch, I got everything I need. Yeah. Whole honey. Yeah. Bro, I took so many honey packs and nigga, I had high blood pressure. I, I said, miss, there's no way in the world I got high blood, blood pressure. pressure. The, my doctor tried to give me high blood pressure medicine. For real? I said, bitch, I'm in the best shape of my life. <laughs> got high blood pressure? Bro, because of the honey bro. packs. That nigga was drawing, We was bro. out in Atlanta, bro. We was just taking too many. We playing, we been, we recording videos. We putting it on the chicken fingers. Oh, 
bro. Yeah, we, we just roll, big. bro. We big. No, that's what we do. We just play all day. But we so play we just, too much. We was in the joint like this. We in the club. My old head man. He's like, man, y'all fucking play too much, man. We in there. I already did it. Uh, he like, uh, we. He like, yo, y'all here playing too much. We in the joint eating chicken fingers, dancing around the old ladies and shit. Like, what's up, baby? He's like, we but I, I, but, but we like being and having a good time. Yeah, that's why I took a liking to you. Like, mm. I don't like niggas that's too serious. Yeah. But you can tell, like. You stern and you stand on business, but yeah, you ain't yeah. too serious. Like, nah, you man, nigga, like to have a good time. Man, we chilling, man. We gonna turn up. We gonna live. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially like you thirty, like it's 30, 31, 32, man. Mm -hmm. We we come from like ninety three. 92, 91. Mm -hmm. Come on, right. bro. Like, same area, you know, we, we come from that Sega that that when we had video games, when we <laughs> go outside, niggas wasn't getting killed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You hear, you don't see that shit. You hear about it. Yeah. You yeah. see the big gangsters. You don't hear about, you don't see that shit. What you think internet. about what the new, what you before. think about the new generation of youngest? Yeah, I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I seen you bring, when I see like young niggas, I just think demonic. <laughs> <laughs> like I get nervous. I get nervous when I see the young niggas. I'm glad they ain't wear no ski masks. Yeah. No, no cap. But like, what you think about like, do you try to <laughs> snow him a little bit? I seen, I seen what Boosie said to his son. He was like, yeah, mm -hmm. the ski mask. I just he, seen it. Yeah, like, and it's true though. Like, I'll be the same way because I come, I'm 30. Like, I'll be wearing a ski mask, so I got a ski mask on me now. But sometimes, like, I'll be scared. I'll be like, when I wear it, I'll be like, damn, niggas think I'm. Because niggas going to get on the defense yeah. with you, bro. But yeah, you got a bro. Reason to wear it, Imagine bro. if you came in here. You don't know us. You come in here. You got, you got ski three mask. niggas in the I'm back with ski masks on. Watching them. Bro, yeah, come on, bro. I come from a different time, different era. I'm yeah. watching them. Like Boosie said, when a nigga wears a ski mask, that means he coming to do something to you, you got, shoot you, do something to you. But you to mean, them, bro. is well, that's our era. To them, they don't think of it like they that. Wear that shit they wear that shit. Because they came, that shit really got fashionable during the like the pandemic. Yeah, bro. When they, bro. Sometimes, they bro, when, bro, it be like niggas walk, like niggas be walking, like it be late. I get out the car, say I'm by myself. Nigga walk up with a ski mask. I'm like, oh, damn. Here we I go. Be, like, yeah, here I'm we like, go. oh, shit. Uh, come on, come on. Not <laughs> the nigga day. be coming up. He pulls up, yo, fat boy, what's up, my nigga? Yeah. Yo. Like, young boy. Yo. Now, now, let's say, like, you Heart was on like something this. that day. <laughs> bro, but let's say you, but let's say you was strizz, though. Heart beating out the shirt. Yeah, but let's say you was strizz. It's like, young boy, you could have just got yourself shot. Just on some you bullshit. Feel me? Take that shit down before you even come. Yeah, he, I'm talking about nigga. I'm talking about hoodie on. Shit like this. <laughs> I'm looking at the nigga. I'm getting out the car. I'm, I'm like this. One foot out, one foot in. I'm like, he already see me already. I don't know like foot on land already. I'm like, if I jump back, he gonna think I'm on some bullshit. Try to go grab some. So if he's, I'm thinking like this, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So one foot on land, I'm like, oh shit, look at him. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. He comes down like, oh, fat boy, <laughs> nigga, I love you, nigga. I'm like. Thank you, God. Like Look, you know, I know in like, Jersey and shit, y'all niggas had people pumping y'all gas. All the young boys in Philly, oh, my fault, sir, can I pump your gas? They so polite. Look like they got the best manners in the world, grew up with uh, the Huxables. <laughs> but these niggas be wearing ski masks. Like, yeah. young boy, take that shit off or you not pumping shit. Yeah. Oh, boy, shit, bro. They just ran in the gas station down the street. It was like 15 young boys down there. I'm like, oh my God. Bro, man, some of our gas boy. stations, when y'all go go past like 33rd Street, like what's that, 33rd and what? Where, right Over here? the bridge in North no, Philly, no, Montgomery. Uh, no, oh, yeah. That old head That's got a, I don't know what kind of gun this nigga got. Something off one of them fucking games. Call of Duty guns. That yeah. gun looked like this fucking pole, like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his strapped down that cause niggas be getting jammed at gas stations and shit. Yeah, no, it ain't no AR. That shit, that shit create a clip come like this up with a drum. Like the gun off of remember Showtime with Eddie Murphy and them? Gun that fucking big. Look just like that. No bullshit. But look, shit, got the strap um, and everything. I'm like, it's crazy. like being being as though like being as though like you went through some bullshit with woman. They can see that big ass gun. They be like, I ain't doing nothing. Salik don't hit me with that. Yeah, old head, old head, old head, very oh, militant. Oh, you ain't even going to that gas yeah, station. Bro, old head, super there, militant. Ain't they gonna let you park in there or nothing? They come knock on your window. Yo, you gotta move. You here too long. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. You start talking shit, man. I'm so what? I'm here too long. Oh, I, yeah, you oh, right. Oh, I was here too long. Old head said, <laughs> I call this lightning and thunder. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's like, what's, that, what's that shit called? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got scared. I'm like, what the fuck? This is I, that nigga look like a cartoon character. <laughs> Yeah, that shit crazy, bro. Like, but when they be wearing them ski masks, bro, like, I told, like, the nigga came up. I'm like, damn. I wanted to tell the nigga, like, you know, so bad. Like, nigga, take the ski I don't I still didn't know if he was trapped. So I'm like, don't let me. No, I'm yeah. telling oh, you. Up, no, no, no. I'm, te oh, I'm telling you that, like, <laughs> like, young and take that shit down. I'm going to get back into what I was about to say. But do you give, like, young boys guidance? Yeah, of course. Like, the new generation. Because, all right, like, you, you a very positive person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your music, all of that shit. You might pop some shit, but yeah. it's, it's, it's just cool. It's music, it's art. But 
Like the young boys are very demonic. Do you give them advice like with the drill rap shit? Yeah, hell yeah, man. I would just tell them like we're gonna rap, 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 but don't really do it no more. Cause you really can't, cause you could the niggas is telling, there's a whole bunch of rats, there's a whole bunch of shit going on. But they tell on themselves too. Yeah, you know, so it's just like it's not even worth it, bro. To be sent up the road and not have enjoyed this life, bro. It, this shit not worth it no more, bro. This shit not even designed for us, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Especially black us black folks. It's not designed for us, so we gotta know how to maneuver, bro. We gotta just man, leave that shit alone. I mean, we all have our demonic thoughts and our fucked up right. thoughts. We ain't gonna let nobody Take play it. with us. Or bitch us or belittle us or do anything. We got to stand our ground and hold our own. Like you said, like, I always got somebody outside, but fuck it. I want to still enjoy life. Right. I still want to go in the club, get a bitch, whatever, enjoy life. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. You know what I'm saying? Whatever comes with it, got to come with it. Mm -hmm. But just know you ain't got to put your, you ain't got to initiate nothing. Like I said, I'm tough, but I ain't dumb. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> go ahead, Mark. I thought you was about to ask a question. I forgot what I was about to ask. <laughs> yeah, was that like, nigga's tipsy. Yeah, bro, we drink. That's all the fuck we do. Me too. No cap. This a bad ass bitch, man. <laughs> look at that, look at that. All right, no, no, look fuck up, that. I don't remember what I want to ask God, you. So no, no, no. But listen, <laughs> like being as though you went through some bullshit publicly with a woman, um, does that like deter you from like taking another chick serious in the future? I mean. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. You just gotta. He's scoring, y'all. He fucked up. Damn. <laughs> you gotta... He's the last hope. Yeah, another man, one bites make... the dust. Yeah, you just gotta make sure it's the right one, man. You gotta make sure it's the right one. Like my thing is right now, I don't like. I be scared. I was just telling my brother Marcus and shit, my nigga Biz and shit. You feel me? Like, yo, if I get up serious with a girl right now, like, I'm gonna lose all my bitches. You feel me? It's gonna be hard to get. You know. Not lose all my bitches, but it's gonna be long. I, I'm happy for you. I yeah. want you to like enjoy your run. I want you to like have fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun. No, bro. nigga, cause you've been cuffed up too long. <laughs> like, bro, you gotta enjoy this shit. I gotta enjoy it. Seriously, that. like, even like when you first got lit, nigga, you've been cuffed. Mm -hmm. So you ain't really like, even if you did what you did, you still was, cuffed. I'm still cuffed. Yeah, bro, like, it's, it, you know how good it feel to like, Go to sleep like a baby and yes. not gotta hear answer to no Nobody. bitch. Nobody, yeah, because you know that shit. Go. I that know, shit nigga. Bro, that bro. shit is devastating. That shit bro. hurt, bro. It's too, it's too, it's too stressful. It's too you stressful. You scared and see you like you got your nigga. Phone. I go to sleep like a baby. Y'all see where I'm at right now, nigga. I go to sleep like a baby. Ain't no bitch knocking on this door or yeah. these windows. Bro, I used to go to sleep with my phone under my legs. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. I got phone it. Like I'm this. Like, like this. You know what I'm saying? Phone. I gotta. Bro, I'm telling bitch, don't text me right now. You know and you, I mean? and you was, and you a young boy. You was, yeah. you really no, was a young 20s, boy. Yeah. So it's young, like, bro. bro, you have to run your movie. Get that shit out your system. Yeah, I gotta run my movie, bro. But and at, at the end of the day, pe some people they don't understand that. It's like, yeah, you want these holes and these holes. So what? That's I want to. Yeah, I, bitch, I want these holes. Yes, there's yeah, nothing wrong with that. That's my dick. I do what I want. There's <laughs> <It's> nothing <laughs> wrong with like, that. And then, yeah, and then when a man tell you that, you know, I, I get it. Like everybody, they tell you like. Like, you know, opinions, like, yo, chill, like, relax, get to the back. I'm always going to get to the back. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to be no, I, that's not yeah, that. But that's I want to no have my fun. I'm just chilling right now, doing what I need to do, you know, dibbling, dabbling. Not different, a lot of different women, but. So, look, you've know? you you you've been in this industry. You are, you you done dipped and dabbed in that in industry. Um, What I see with the industry shit, even in Philly, like, the popular crowd mm -hmm. is recycled. The women are recycled. Um, yeah, you've, because, you've seen this. You you probably done been with one nigga, seen the bitch, then you with another nigga. Damn, I just seen that bitch last night. I'm a mom my business, yeah. though. Like, do you, like, chase after them type of woman? I mean, no, but, I mean, them the ones who understand a little bit. I don't want no bitch that everybody had. When I, I walk in the room, I want, damn, where you get nah, that bitch from? I mean, that's from? the ones that understand. That's the ones that understand, you know what I'm saying? So Damn, she's trying to give you some pussy you know tonight. What I'm saying? Hey, bro, you outside? Oh, that's somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, send them on. All right. Yeah, like, you know, like, um, oh, should I call this? I call her by mistake. Um, It's like, you know, at the end of the day, what was the question? <laughs> oh, that must be the good weed. That ain't yeah. the bullshit you was smoking last yeah. night. <laughs> I don't know what the Oh, you said the industry girl. Yeah, the industry yeah. girl. I got it. Can't no, snap back. You drink, you smoking. Yeah. No, I drink too, but it's snap back. It's just all the, the liquor from before it's snap back. Once I see niggas drinking, just get on me and shit. He's like smelling that. a few. Yeah, I smell it, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> um it's like, you know, with them type of women, they, I mean they understand you better. I love like bro, I love pussy, bro. I don't know, bro. Like I love women, bro. Like women is so like cute and stuff. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna kid you not, bro. Like, I just felt, I just felt deeply, more deeply in love with women. And you love beautiful women. Beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, look, beautiful. Mark, Mark, like, Mark, beautiful. Mark, you gotta say out this conversation. You don't know nothing about this. Like, bro, I'm talking about pussy cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty pussy. Pussy bitch. You ever seen an ugly and you just pussy? wanna kiss it. You uh, just wanna kiss it and no, nibble, okay. nibble no, on that, that motherfucker. Shit. Bro, that's, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you. A beautiful woman, bro, a, a pure beautiful woman is sometimes better than money, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro, oh, facts. <clears throat> so look, let's do this analogy, right? right. You know you can make a thousand dollars any day, right? You mm -hmm. know you can make a thousand dollars any day. Mm -hmm. Any day. So particularly on Monday, a bitch come to you, she bad. She like, yeah, this Monday you're gonna spend with me, but you gotta go make a thousand dollars. But you gonna but you know you can make this thousand dollars any day. I'm gonna stay with the bitch. It, it not just for looks. I like yeah, I, I look. Mean, I look. Not I look just for looks. Period. Look. If it's a bitch, period. I'm gonna stay with the bitch. But it, she's nice, bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she got Cute. a good personality. Good personality. Good aura about stay herself. And beautiful. Good toes. Sexy. This yeah. nigga needs toes. Yeah, 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 she want to fuck yeah. too. You know what I mean? The and you got nothing like a pretty whore. A I'm pretty bitch you, that lets you treat her like a whore. I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. Shout out to my girl. Oh my fault, baby. I ain't calling you a whore. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, if they second guess, they blew you like that thousand or this bitch. A thousand. I'm going to go. I can make this. Man, I'm doing both. I'm bitch, a, yeah, you going to come like, with me to get nah, the thousand like, like, like and too. then we out. No, no cap. I'm a nigga like that too, but I'm saying you can't do it. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it depends she on how much I made that too. week. Yeah, she I gonna, can't fuck with you if you can't understand what I got going on. Yeah, so nah, okay. but she going to understand. She's like, yeah, I know you got to go to your money. You just, yeah. but I'm just saying, I'm giving you an analogy. You got to pick. You gonna pick the woman because you gonna All be like, day. I ain't gonna, I never know if I might get a chance to get link one again. Stuff. I always gonna get this thousand dollars. You know, what I'm, I'm not saying don't go get the money because I'm gonna try to go get, get both. Like, look, come on, come with me. I want, I want to, I want to show you how I work. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So now you gonna but, respect my hustle more. Yeah, you, you gonna, gonna fuck with me more. You, you see what I got you, going you on. You see me getting to the bag, and every woman I deal with, or every woman that jump in my car, they see me. They tell you, <laughs> no cap. You could call them up. You could write a post. If you ever been in with Fat Boy, and he he got money that day. He got some type of money. Look, look, look. I, I was telling him, I was with this girl one time. She said, I said, yo, we going to go to um, Dove Frisco. She bad. I said, we going to go to Dove Frisco to get something to eat. She said, RB, you could just give me some lunch meat from ShopRite and get this certain type of cheese. What? I said, all right, bet. <laughs> I'm going to get some Don Julio too, Hell bitch. Yeah. And we going to drink it in the crib. Now, this one she just Dying thought. And this, cold cut. But listen, listen, this one she just thought I was just this regular. Like, oh, do she thought I was doing ones and twos. Now, like how you saying you running a bag up with her. Now she she been around me a little more and she see me doing certain shit. Ain't she ain't she the most big in this bitch ever? I, say, yo, I'm like, oh. yo, why you so I call I call her a cereal beggar. <laughs> oh bro, I hate bro. And I had to cut her off because like bitch, look, she moved. I gave her money to move, oh, and the bitch asked you for money a day after. I hate bitches like that. So bro. I had to cut her off. So what I want to ask you, like, are you, are you, like, do you, do you nah. feel comfortable with like letting bitches see you collect nah, a certain amount bro, of money? No, because bitches be begging all day, bro. I mean, I do something for a bitch. I, you know, don't get me wrong. You know, certain things. You feel me? If we going to get my feet done, bitch, you with me? You get your feet done, get your, whatever. No, but I'm nah. saying like when you when they see nah, you, like bro. they might see. All right, fat boy got fat boy lit, but oh damn, he running it up like that. Nah, I ain't know he yeah, was that, that lit. Yeah, and then when they see that they want shit, they that's begging. what I'm saying, bro. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that shit. I, I so it's like, yeah, you, bitch, I'm gonna get out the cut. You, Listen, you ain't I, getting nothing. No, if no, I don't no. want to buy it for you. If I don't want to do something for you, why you don't act like leave me alone? Like, yeah. cause you just know I got money. You ask, go out. No, I don't that's like the that. red flag. Yeah, Fuck that. I don't like that shit. I don't like it. But that's why you got you got to keep your business your business, bitch. This ain't your business, especially from a woman. If she see you collect eight thousand dollars in her face. Eight thousand dollars. She want at least three. And then, and, then, and then look right. And then look right. You happy? Right you happy? You collected it. Bitch gonna be right here. You happy? You collected it. Grab that remote. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You happy? You collected the motherfucker. You just happy. She see you happy. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, but like she'll wait till you. But she probably leave. She'll wait till like a little later. A little later. Text you like, oh, what you doing? Yeah. Yeah, let me get. Let me get two thousand real yeah. fast. I just my car just got impounded. Bitch, you just was with me. You ain't even had no car. Where you gonna like, car for that thing? And, 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 and I don't you, like bro. the bitch. If you ain't doing nothing for them, they treat you like shit. Mm. I don't like them. Mm. If Get you into ain't that. Doing Elaborate them, on that. If they know you got money and you ain't doing nothing for them, they treat you like shit. They What's like, like doing something for them? 
Anything. Like hair and shit. You know, hair right now, that shit costs a lot, bro. For the installment, is like 250 For the hair, is like 500, 500. Mm -hmm. That's like 750 for some Bitches hair. is paying that's that. Rent. <laughs> that's rent. But like I'm saying, though, like, baby, if you ain't got your hair, the essential things need that you need to be done as a woman, mm -hmm. and you asking me for it, something ain't right with this picture, mama. There you go. You know what I'm saying? I understand. Shout out Skrilla, baby. Shout out all the niggas that make good that good music, because I love women. And I, and I apologize on my Instagram uh, this week. You if I ever, it. if I ever disagree, if I ever degraded women or whatever, but women have to understand, like you know, uh, it's not about like you gotta have that shit done for yourself. I mean, I do it if you know we serious and we locked in, locked in. Mm -hmm. But if you messing with multiple niggas and I gotta do like what? Like like my man Chad said, he's been in the shop and bitches they don't just ask one nigga to do the hair, they ask all three niggas that he talked to. They make a cash it. And everybody, they take the money from everybody. everybody. Mm -hmm. And the bitch got mad at me one time because I understand this shit. I hit a I, I had a bitch pregnant before, and she ain't my bitch. I said, yo, you fucking other niggas? She said, yeah. I said, all right, well, we got to go half on the abortion because you don't know who baby it is. Yeah. She got mad. The fuck you mad for? I'm bitch, I need that. I'm not. Me and Raheem got to go half. <laughs> Whatever the nigga name is, we got to go half. Mm -hmm. That's just how that shit go, bro. Yeah, man. Then, like... Like my thing is I like you I knew a red flag too when I um before I got married I was gonna get a prenup. Mm. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna get it though, but I, I was gonna get it. I should have got it. But I don't I don't know. But oh you was, I'm you was married? You and that girl was married? Yeah. I'm married now. So Oh you still married. Still married. So it's like with that being said, it's like when I when I told her about the prenup, we was married already. I was like, Yeah, if I would've got a prenup, she's like, da -da -da, you wanna marry me, but boom, boom. And then she was like, um, like she caught attitude. So I'm like, I buy anything that never. I'm in love. Like we cool. So I'm like, now we're all now it now it now it all we, makes sense. Now it makes sense. sense. Did you ever see the joint with John Sally and Martin? And Martin said John Sally said him and Martin. He was at the Miami Heat game and he told him he said Martin was with his wife at the time, but it was before his wife. He's like, uh, he said he just randomly said it to him like, yo, you get a prenup. He said in the front of her. He said Martin went off on him. Martin stopped talking to him and everything. Why the fuck? You tell me, da, 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 da. but he said Martin wanted to get in a prenup. He said like twenty years later, Martin thanked him like, "Yo, I really appreciate you for saying that shit because it showed me who she really was and all that." You ain't never see that, John? No. Nah. It was on TikTok, bro. I was yeah, Fat shit. Fat Boy would have went off. Fat Boy probably would have hit him. Yeah, I John probably, probably, said, bro. because like you, I can tell like you like a tender nigga. Yeah. <laughs> nah, like, no, you, you, you like you you be yeah. I can tell you pussy. You be pussy with, no, but no, like no, I used to be like that. But Everybody I've been a, no, but like once you be around and you done, bro, I fucked a lot of bitches. Bro. Yeah. So it's like I understand how a woman move. I understand yep. their motives. We yep. grew up around all women, damn near. Yeah, Most real, of us real, niggas ain't really you. like you might have your uncle. He dipping dad, right. he ain't around like that. You ain't saying nothing wrong, bro. So it's like woman, I understand tender, that shit, I'm bro. Submissive. So, I'm submissive for my woman. I'm tender for my woman because that's the way I want to be. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, but you got to know they true. Like you said, you got to learn. I'm learning. I just turned 30 years old mm -hmm. in November. So I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still, you feel me? Now I know. Now I know how to play certain situations. You know what I'm saying? I know how to go into certain. That's why I just said, like, I could have got into a relationship, another relationship or went with somebody. That's why I, like, I'm like, bro, you know I want saying? you to run I'm your movie. I'm just chilling because yeah. I'm like, damn, run I, your movie, bro. Serious. I might lose. I might stop everything. I might stop and then I got to re, then I got to read. No. Then I got to redo everything. I'm already good. I got like a nice little rock. And you, and you have, and you have it fun. Ain't that I'm shit fun? fun? Ain't it fun, bro? I'm having fun. It's fun. <laughs> it's fucking I'm fun. fun. Listen, Literally. nigga, run your movie. If you do anything, oh, have a situation shit. Yeah, situation. And a situation shit. All right, you my man. I'm about to have bitch. a little situation with one of these Johns. You know but she understand now. Now listen, this is. She has to understand. You got to lay these yeah, rules out, bro. Yeah. She got to understand. You can't overstep, and I'm not gonna overstep, fat boy. Yeah, I hope you ain't it. going through bitches' phones. Nah, I don't be going through no girl. I don't believe you. Nah, you I hesitated, don't. nigga. Nah, I don't be going through no girl phone. <laughs> nah, dude, like, my wife phone, I, don't, I ain't go through her phone like that. I went through her phone like the like whole that. time. The whole time we were together, like, we was married, though. Like, so okay. we was married. It was different. The whole time, she went through my phone a lot. The whole time I went through her phone while we was together, like, five years, like, five years, I went through her phone at least about, bro, five years, bro. Five years, bro, from the beginning we got together to now, bro. Five years I went through a phone like at least fifteen times, bro. Five you years. really like you really a good guy. Like what, yeah. what made you want to get married? You feel me? I at mean, 25? I mean, at the end of the day, 
I was I was just, you know, in my head, like, you know what I'm saying? You I want to have a, like make a it family. Right. I want to make it right. Yeah. Make a family. And when I got married, everything got, like, lit. Everything yeah. was getting better. I bought a house, kids. It was like, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, me being a doggish nigga, I am a little <laughs> vicious dog, what I call myself. <laughs> You know? So get them doggy. That's what I be saying. Like we hypocrites. That like all my yeah. homies used to be like, bro, when you gonna calm down? I said when I'm ready. Yeah, when I'm, I'm ready. I'm not like I'm not I'm not I'm not holding no I'm not putting no girl on no leash and I know I ain't ready. Yeah, bro, I did it. And it, it then it then it didn't go as planned. And I, it you know, it backfired on me because I was doing what I you know, I was like, I can't get you was mad. Running when, your movie. I was running my movie while I was like basically with her and shit. But I can't get mad when the rabbit got the gun. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I did. And I did get mad. You know what I'm saying? So, I just had like a post that I posted on our last podcast. And a lot of a lot of women like reposting that shit. Yeah, a lot of basically women. like I'm s i am I was saying like girls like the best thing for you, bro. Like they the most loyal people yeah, in the yeah, world. Yeah, they will facts. be super loyal to you until you right. fuck them over. Yeah, that fucked up. Yeah. And now you might see that other side. Yeah, I seen that. We be hypocrites and we don't want to acknowledge yeah. it. Like, all right, we fucked up. Yeah, like I fucked up a lot, but I ain't gonna blame myself though. Mm -hmm. I ain't yeah, gonna you... keep blaming myself. I'm gonna run my movie. I'm gonna go straight to the movie theaters with this <laughs> Like, I ain't gonna blame myself, but I did do a lot of fuck ups. You know, I regret, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, at the end of the year, I regret it, you know what I'm saying? Because in the beginning, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not beginning, like, she a good woman. Like, she was a good woman, you know what I'm saying? Now yeah. she's evil because of the reconnaissance of my actions, did. which is cool. I feel but like you just got to take it. Huh? Just got to take it. You, that's what I'm you just got to take it. I mean, I ain't, it's nothing to take. It's like, yeah. it's really like, dude, I don't, I don't care. I'm doing this, me. Yeah, this is this, this, this what we're about to go on you know right now. Like, uh... Um, do you feel like you a good person? And if you do, what make you think you a good person? I'm a good person because I, I know I'm pure, man. I know what I want in life. I know what I, how I want to, you know, make sure people are straight. You know what I mean? I know. Like, I know I'm a good person for sure. I mean, I, it, it vouches. People can say I got a little attitude or whatever. I, I mean, you know, everybody got that. Yeah, everybody, got, you got, everybody got a little cocky in this one. Yeah, I'm a good nigga, though. Yeah. Hello, bro. You outside? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to have somebody come out. All right. Yeah, hey, bro, he got the food and shit outside. Somebody want to go get him? Mark, you think you a good person? What make you think you a good person? I'm a great person, nigga. I'm bro, a, I don't think you a good person. He bullshit. <laughs> he bullshit, Damn, bro. Nigga, you going to come uh, at me like that, he bro? He bullshit. You see, bro, you, bro, you think I it's was here, bro. Yeah, we is, bro. He bullshit, though, I right? I think the nigga like, yo, like, yo. He, he the nigga like, you fuck with the ugly bitch. Yo, you fuck with that ugly ass that, bitch. That, that's him. It's, it I know that's him. Listen, look, bro, look, 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 everybody on the you show. Know, sometimes, you know, sometimes you got to take one for the team. But when he take his, he ain't gonna tell me. I don't take. No, I, no, no, no. I don't take one for the team. Oh, you not? I'm gonna make it very awkward. I'm gonna walk out the room. Listen, yeah, I'm gonna walk out the bro, room, nigga. We, look, we had a live show last month, uh, Black Friday. Chick, we we partying, boom, 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 we partying. My keys fall out my pocket. The bitch picked the keys up and run out the door. This nigga catches her before I could get her. He said, some bitch, give him his keys back and man, no, the no, fuck, no, man, no, 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 no. I, I said, asked oh, her bro. nicely first. Yeah, yeah, not I like asked her too, nicely, bro. but, then but bro, you got us outside of this club. I'm drunk, I'm vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I'm like anybody can run up on me right now, bro. Yeah, we yeah. not doing it. Oh, go, you can't go. control oh, your you, bitch. You jumped on her? <laughs> no, 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 I ain't no, jump no, no. on her. I'm like, bitch. Get, on her that was out of character for me because I don't yeah. talk to women like that. That was your girl? No. Was Man, that's a bitch that he's been fucking with. But it's like, why yeah. she feel like she could do that to you? Yeah. No bitch do that to me. Yeah, yeah because yeah, I don't yeah, play that's that. Not, bro, that's what I mean, bro. Like, they don't know bro, I know what you mean, bro. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's why I didn't judge you in your situation. Because sometimes, like, bitch, who was you playing with? You got me fucked up. Give me my shit. And I had bro, to I do that got, for you. Bro, I got, <laughs> what you nut ass nigga. Hey bro, I ain't got my jewelry. I ain't got my my vehicle, bro. It's crazy, bro. But it's all cool. I'm gonna get all, I'm gonna get all, I'm gonna get what God got planned for me. I'm Cause like what, what she like took all your shit? She got my chain and shit for nothing. My jewelry. Real spiteful though, bro. Like they, get my jewelry. Like, why you got my jewelry and you doing your shit with niggas and stuff? Mm -hmm, that's, what the fuck you shuck a thousand? She you know you love jewelry. that jewelry. She just trying to hurt you. That's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This two show yeah, pass. Yeah, somebody coming out to get you right now, bro. This two show pass. <laughs> yeah, you going. But yeah, but yeah. I'm gonna but, say what well, I do. I'm a good person. But yeah, because this is a hold up, hold up. Because he said I'm not a good person. You're not a good person. I'm hold a good up. person. Nah, you're a good person. I'm talking yeah. about with the bitches and shit like yeah, 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 that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a very good person. Listen, I'm about to tell y'all, and I'm a school to young boys. He a dog. My fault, y'all. Y'all might be older than me. My fault, y'all. How old are y'all? You 20? 22? Oh shit. Yeah. 26. Oh yeah, y'all young. All right, they young, oh, yeah, they yeah. young boys. But 
I know I'm a good person. Bro, you just seen me have a conversation with a girl. Mm -hmm. And I said, she made me realize I'm a good person because when I had nothing and she used to give me shit, mm -hmm. front me shit, mm -hmm. I never even thought about stealing. She got repaid everything at one time. Nigga, I have a missing side tooth if it wasn't for that girl. <laughs> My tooth, I had a tooth fake. Shit was hurting like a motherfucker. <laughs> tooth still there. But I had to go back, get the tooth, go to the dentist. She gave me a credit card, all that type shit. So I know I'm a good nigga. God damn. God damn, y'all pick. What's this, the whole South Jersey in this bitch? <laughs> now they from Philly. They got the food. Uh, they got the soul food. Where y'all get food from? Why the fuck you ain't get a... You ain't no good person, man. <laughs> damn, I would have told you. You didn't get us shit, bro. I would have told I didn't know. I forgot. I didn't know y'all was hungry, man. He talking about I forgot. <laughs> we let y'all drink. That shit smell good in the motherfucker, though. Kenny G, Kenny G, I appreciate you, bro. Kenny G's Philly, man. Just buy me my soul food, man. I'm here on the part of my brother's podcast, man. It's lit, man. Let's oh, keep it 100 it, it might, podcasts. It, it might be a third host, man. I might be coming out here every, <laughs> week, every week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, these niggas getting money. They rich, you know what I'm saying? These <laughs> niggas about the same... They, they about to sign the same Dale Gilly and Wallow song, man. Yeah, appreciate you know that. what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, y'all yeah. are, man. I, I pray y'all do it. And I know y'all will. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got very good charisma. Y'all got good, um, you know, characteristics and stuff. I love it. I love this podcast, bro. Yeah, appreciate you, I ain't gonna you, count. wish y'all more success. No cap. Listen, appreciate that, that, we, we gonna wrap it up with this. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, what y'all, like, wish for yourselves for the new year? I just, like, I'm gonna get lighter, a little bit more lighter, you know what I'm saying? I lost a lot of weight. You know, oh, yeah, shout out to that, too. Yeah, I lost a lot of weight and shit like that. What um, made you do that? I just health reasons, just get healthier and shit look better. But yeah, I'm gonna just get more, uh, get in the gym by, you know what I mean, by uh, the first, for sure, for sure, for real. Even if I do it for a month, the whole month of January, no liquor, I've been clean for two days. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he can't go 10 minutes. Yeah, cool. me too. <laughs> nigga, I, I'm, nigga I, I got four bottles coming tonight. So nigga, I'm know. making you drink tonight. Where you going out? I'm going you... to, I got to be in Staten Island. Oh, shit. Oh, you going out there? Yeah, right. so I got four bottles. Out, so I'm not, I ain't, in, well, I've been at a day, well, two days clean, but. That shit over. Yeah, they gave me 1942 whole bunch of shit. Uh, yeah, you better yeah, drink I'm it. You better drink it. <laughs> I, mean, I, got some, I got nice th something coming through. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm drinking. If not, she gonna drink. <laughs> yeah, so you know what I mean? It just, you know, a different vibration, man. Just just do things differently, you know. Set my goals, hit them all, make seven M's by March. Do what I need to do, man. Just big player. Be, be, um, you know, be more, uh, be a better father. You know, we always gonna be better fathers and shit like that. Um, yeah, how old is your kids? Nah, 10, 11. I'm back to back to back. Nigga, I've been having kids... For a long time, bro. Okay, since we was kids. I've been having kids when them niggas was in the sixth grade. Man. <laughs> Man. My kids is they age. Hmm. <laughs> no boys. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Mark. What's your New Year's resolution, man? Man. Go back to fucking work. I'm tired of being out of work. I got to go back and get this money, though. But, no, my New Year's resolution is, bro, you know, just hopefully this podcast take off even more, bro. Just... <laughs> Just, just to get a little bit more light and just, man, keep doing what I'm I doing. I will. Bro. It will. It I'm will. just keep doing what I'm doing, bro. I'm going to stay keep it doing me because I ain't got no fucked up ways. I ain't got no fucked up you know, time. So I'm just keep being me, bro. I just just hope for the better. That's all. That's my oh, New yeah. Year's resolution. My New Year's re resolution is to uh, just keep doing what I'm doing. Stay focused. Keep the course. Uh, know the purpose. Yeah. I, I advise all y'all in here to know y'all. Find the purpose. And chase your purpose. No, seriously. Find your purpose and chase your purpose, bro. Serious Don't purpose. Don't give up, bro. And right. stop chasing bitches with BBLs like Fat Boy. <laughs> and y'all be all. And you. Yeah. And me you. Too. <laughs> me too. Me too. Bro, me too. Look, me look, too. Look, look. Put your glass on line, motherfucker. But my on that note. My shit's on too. <laughs> on that note, we out. Shout out Fat Boy. No, I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate Thank y'all for bro. having me, man. No cap, man. Appreciate you, I appreciate y'all for the bottom of my heart, man. Appreciate I wish you. nothing but best to y'all podcast. $100 million, man. Thank you. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you.